Let's go. The old track. Yes. I'm gonna share my journey with the arcade one up and the home cabinets, Legends Ultimate. Let's give it to you. Hello, humans, and welcome to another episode of Gen X Gamer. Thank you for all of you signing up, watching the channel, all your likes, subscribes, and all that stuff. Well, conversationalists all across the fruit of plane, I'm going to share with you my journey on what has been the home arcade scene, right? Now, what I've tried to do is gather as much information as I can about these cabinets, right? Um, they're pricey, right? But don't worry, I'm not a Patreon pimp. I'm going to be like... <laughs> these guys, guys, it's Patreon pimp season. Let me warn you. A lot of these guys are going to start getting sick. A lot of mystery illnesses are going to pop up. A lot of, uh, you know, tooth problems, a lot of fevers, a lot of mystery diseases, all that kind of stuff. Stay vigilant out there. Spend it on your kids. Invest it. I don't know. But don't give it to the Patreon pimps. All right. So let's get started. Let me show you what I'm looking at right now. All right. Let me show you what I'm looking at. And it's the Legends uh, Ultimate at games uh, legends ultimate it has everything that i dreamed of it has a trackball it has spinners <laughs> right it comes with a bunch of games um do i love the form factor uh, it's okay right? it's not bad but it's okay right and it's at the price point right it's it has what i'm looking for right but as far as the sexy one Right, and I know many people don't agree with me, but this guy's was love at first sight, big blue. Don't ask me why, right? Looks are subjective, but this is what I like. But let me tell you what I've discovered in this journey, right? Finding out first, let me tell you this I am not going to review a product I don't own. There's enough of that out there, right? There's a bunch of reviews from guys that can't afford shit. There's, and say, oh, this is this is garbage, or this doesn't work. I would never buy this. Well, you know, if you don't own it, how are you going to review it? I'm not going to do that. I might think something's not a good idea. Maybe something's not for me, but I'm not going to get a, a, a definite opinion, right? There's there's things that I don't like that are very good products, right? There might be a car brand that I don't particularly like myself, but it might be good, you know. And it's that way with products. I don't like reviewing stuff that I don't own or can afford. Right. And you see a lot of that in the video game community for whatever reason. Oh, I'm never going to play that game. It's too expensive. Well, how do you know if it's good or not? Anyway, guys, listen, when it comes to this stuff, I've taken feedback from a lot of people, from people that like the consoles or, or these arcade cabinets, from people that don't like them, from detractors, haters, if you will. And I have to say, for the most part, at least when it comes up to the arcade one up, there's polar opposites, right? But they really sit at the ends. They do. Um, when it comes to the bulk of the public, right? The old man cringe community, as I call them, they're okay with the product. It's not that they're unaware of the problems with the product. They are aware that they're buying basically a toy. But part of the charm to them is trying to fix it. They're like me, you know, like Tim the Toolman, Toolman Taylor. I want to I want to make it better. Right? I'm going to fix it. Arr, 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 arr. <laughs> I'm going to fix it and make it better. And that's part of the charm and it's fun. It's fun upgrading uh you know the the joysticks and the buttons and all that stuff, right? It's it's part of the charm of the machine. And and just looking at a chart, just imagine the haters are down here, right? Or the detractors are down here. And the super sh shills are over here. Well, the bulk of the public is in the middle. The bulk of the public is not going to return these machines. They'll live with it. They'll make whatever. They'll do with whatever is there because sometimes it takes too much. A lot of these YouTubers will go through the returns and stuff like that. But normal people usually don't do that. They'll try to make it better themselves. And especially people that like tinkering with stuff, people that repair stuff, are the ones that are going to buy this. And it's up. They're casual. They're casual fans. So if, you know, it's not going online, for example, eh, 
you know, it's not too big of a deal for them because they're not going to be going online for tournaments, right? They're, they're not going to be participating in championships. <laughs> Only in their living room. A lot of these are eye candy for the man cave, right? So it, they serve their purpose. And that's something that the extremes sometimes don't seem to capture, right? And that's a big part of why you're not seeing, you know, people rushing over to take care of things that seem important, right, to, to the anti-side or to the hater side. And, and I'm not saying that they're not correct, but they're not important. They're not as important to the casual player. That's just a reality, right? When I go through these reviews of, of people, for the most part, they'll point out the same problems and they'll say, eh, it's okay, right? And everybody has a different budget, guys. But you have to remember the old man cringe community, a lot of them are empty nesters. There's no kids. They have the money to spend. So, you know, for, for somebody who $500 might be a lot of money if they have kids and they're raising a family and all this, $500 is a lot of money, but if you have nothing else to spend it on, right? <laughs> Then you do, and then you spend more. But, you know, finally I asked a, a Rexer more of a direct question, and he, he responded with this, which I find to be true in my situation, right? And maybe a lot of you out there then, that are thinking about purchasing these, these machines, you know? When you see my collection, my collection I bought at a, at a great price. Over here I'm trying to fight FOMO. I'm like a, a year and a half late on that stuff, if not two years, right, on this stuff. And he pointed that out to me, you know, even though I'm seeing this with, with new eyes, the fact is that these have been out there for a while. So I missed a lot of it, right? But here's the gist of it, and, and I agree, agree with his statement here. Modding is fun. Then it becomes old, and then you realize you spent an additional 300 on buttons, joysticks, marquee, fake coin door, monitor, new marquee, booster, and all you're left with is your initial purchase and it's a cheap partial board and a ROM. If you buy it for 250, okay. So price is everything. You know, he's got a point there. You know, for people buying, for example, the uh, Capcom versus Marvel 2 that's out there, right? It doesn't seem like it's working too well for a lot of people, right? Why am I going to spend full price when I can get a better experience on my Dreamcast right now? It doesn't make sense right? But for the casual player, you know, maybe they, they're not as technical. Like I said, it's eye candy for them. But it doesn't make sense for me, right, to go spend full price and then go spend another $300 to improve the machine. Now, some other people go, well, I'm just going to go get a real arcade machine and fix it. I don't have the room and I don't have the time. And that's the case for many people. They already have a house. They don't want to you know, be, they don't want to be building stuff. They just want to put something together real quick, look for eye candy, and when the boys come over, play a game or two. They're not going to be online, like I said, doing tournaments, right? So they serve their purpose. For me, I think this is how I'm going to operate with these. I'm going to find for look for a great deal. I'm going to try to get to that 250 price as much as I can. I'm going to try to raise it off the stuff that I already own here because. I, I do need to move some things in order to make room for this stuff, right? Because I'm a game hoarder, right? <laughs> none of this, <laughs> none of the stuff that you see in the back of me, right, is, is something that you see in, in most living rooms out there. But, you know, it, it is what it is, right? <laughs> it is what it is. Um, and that's how I'm going to play it, man. And, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys, look, this is talking to me right now big time there's a lot of games there that i like even though half of them you know arcade the other half are console games uh and big blue's talking to me i like the the color scheme of this i like it and i can see myself upgrading the crap out of it now a lot of people give an example a lot of people uh don't like this angle here right and they use the foam or something not me uh-uh i'm getting metal in there baby i i will fix the angle however i need to but then if i fix the angle do I need to paint some more? Do I need to do something with these screws over here that are popping out? Do I want to, I don't know, anodize the screws or buy anodized screws to make it match? 
I mean, the possibilities are endless, right? And that's that is part of the fun. And it's going to be great fun if I get it for two fifty. It's not going to be as fun at five hundred or you know whatever the full price for this thing is, right? So that really is the key, and that's where I'm going to I think find the enjoyment of finally getting one of these. And once I get them, I will review them, right? But I'm not going to you know talk smack about any of these consoles or any of these arcade um, arcade one ups or any other uh, cabinet until I actually own them. That's where I'm at. But let me tell you, I'm having fun. I had fun engaging with the community. I'm having fun looking at these reviews. I'm drooling over some of these setups, man. Let me tell you, some of these um, setups that, that these people have, I think I'm going to do just a whole episode on window watching, you know, and, 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 and looking at some of these man caves, man, because they are pretty sweet. All right, guys, thank you for joining me. I just wanted to give you my thoughts on, on this you know, home arcade scene, you know, what I came up with. Let me know in the comments if you own any, what your favorites are, or if you know of any deals, man, because I'll jump on them. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.